Hello my friends and welcome to Yellowstone National Park. I'm here with my family on a little mini vacation. So was Dennis Johnson, an eight-year-old who went missing, never to be seen again. This missing case goes back many decades, my friends. It was April 12th of 1966 when Dennis Johnson, eight years old, was visiting Yellowstone National Park with his family. They went to see Old Faithful, which is right behind me. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see that go off. And then they had a picnic in the nearby area. At this time, uh, his sister, his younger sister, wandered off. Dennis let his father know that the sister had wandered off and decided that they were gonna go search for her. Now, despite being eight years old, uh, Dennis had quite a bit of survival experience and training that his father had given him. His father felt safe in letting them split up in the search to find his sister. Eventually, the sister was found. However, Dennis was not. He never came back. Now, there was an extensive search effort for two weeks after Dennis Johnson disappeared. However, during this time, they never found footprints of him. They never found any clothes, any indication that he was out there. Many do believe that Johnson had succumbed to nature, had some kind of accident. But the reality is there's no indications that that is what happened. There was a road nearby and some believe that he might have been picked up or abducted. Now, this was all the way back in 1966. Decades have now passed. If Johnson was alive, he'd be in his 60s. What happened to the young eight-year-old boy, Dennis Johnson, who disappeared from Yellowstone National Park? Famous. Not famous.